All right, guys, so now what I'm going to show you is how those different metadata concepts like data types, dimensions and measures, discrete and continuous are related to each other. All right, so now we have a field in our data and in Tableau, we can assign it to different data types. So it could be string or boolean with true and false or a date and we have as well date and time or a number whether it's whole or decimal and now next tableau can assign it to another metadata info either dimension or measure any data type that is not a number it's gonna be dimension so string boolean and date all of them gonna be automatically dimension you cannot convert it to a measure and if the data type is number we could have it as a measure or dimension if it makes sense to do aggregation and next tableau can assign this field to the third metadata concept discrete or continuous. If we have a dimension field with a data type string, it could be only discrete. We cannot convert it to continuous. Like in our data set, we have the category, the first name, the country. All those fields are string, dimension and discrete. You cannot change it to anything else. The same goes for the data type boolean. It could be only dimension and only discrete. But now if we have a dimension field with a data type date or date time, as you saw in our examples, it could be continuous or discrete. We can have both. And now to the last one, if we have a field with a data type number, it doesn't matter whether it's dimension or measure, we can have this field as continuous and as well as discrete. All right, guys. So with this, you have big picture for all those confusing concepts in metadata in Tableau. All right, everyone. So we have now better understanding about the data types and roles in Tableau and these important concepts. And in the next section, we will learn about renaming and aliases in Tableau.